Well, good Thursday, everybody, and thanks for joining me in this uh, time in God's Word today. And we're going to be in Galatians chapter 5, picking up there in the fruit of the Spirit and try to finish these out in the next uh, few videos. Um, but we're going to be in Galatians chapter 5 and verse 22. Um, I'm going to get back to the fruits of the Spirit that Paul talks about here um, in, uh, we've already talked about love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness. And today we are going to talk about faithfulness. That is the next one. Um, some versions just simply say faith. Uh, a lot of them, uh, most of them say or use the word faithfulness. Uh, that seems to be more the idea of the word that is used there and how this fits in with walking in the spirit and of course not in the flesh and not in the ways of the world. And that's really what Paul is talking about in Galatians chapter 5. Um, as he had previously talked about the works of the flesh, we know how we're not supposed to be living um, in sinful ways. And the opposite of faithfulness is unfaithfulness. Um, it is really being unloyal, unfaithful, um, being untrue to our word and our promises, whether that really be to God or to man. I mean, really, uh, you know, the question is, well, you know, what faithfulness is this talking about? Um, and I think either way you look at it, uh, there is certainly application. Uh, the number one, first and foremost, when we talk about faithfulness and who we are to be faithful to, we know that we are to be faithful to God first and foremost above everybody. Um, God is to be first. We're to be seeking first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Or to be giving our lives to him, loving him with all our heart, soul, mind, body, strength, with everything, uh, every bit of our being. Um, and so we're to be faithful to God and his word and all that God calls us to do. Um, and so if we are continuing to live in sin, continuing to do sinful things, then that's not being faithful to God. You know, we have made, when we become a Christian, we make a commitment to God that we are going to live for him, uh, that we are going to turn away from sin. We're not going to sin anymore, and we're going to strive to live our lives for him and his righteousness. And if we're not doing that, then we're not being faithful to our promise, to our commitment to God. Um, so when we talk about being faithful to God, we know that it is being holy as he is holy. It is loving and serving God and, and all that he asks us to do. It is truly devoting my life to God. Um, and if we are going to be people of God, we're going to have to be faithful to God and, and all that we do. Um, and so again, he is first. He is number one. And then, um, of course, there's application in being faithful in our relationships with uh, mankind, whatever relationship that may be, whether it's in our marriages. Uh, we could talk about being, of course, faithful in our marriages and not committing adultery and faithful in you know, loving and caring and serving um, uh, our spouse. Um, and so we need to be faithful in our marriages, faithful as parents, faithful as children, faithful as uh, in our jobs, um, faithful to our neighbors, faithful in any uh, thing that we say or do, really being a, uh, a man or woman of our word, that we need to be faithful, that when we say something, we mean it and we're going to do it, and uh, we need to commit to that. Um, and so really, faithfulness, there is a lot to be said there and how we are to love and serve our fellow man and being faithful in our uh, commitments to them in whatever relationship, whatever area that may be that people can depend on us people can trust us again you know we're not going to be you know dishonest we're not going to be manipulative we're not going to be um, deceiving we are going to be upright uh, um, again being honest true to our word and so let's think about faithfulness let's think about our faithfulness to god let's think about our faithfulness to others and ask am i truly a person of faithfulness Am I being faithful to God um, in all that I do? Am I being faithful in my relationships with others? Um, am I known as a person of faithfulness or am I not very faithful? Um, and let's uh, strive to improve in that. Um, if we have failed in that, then let's repent and then let's strive to do better. 
uh, to get back to being faithful to God, faithful to others. Um, if maybe I'm doing okay in that, then hey, remember, I got to keep doing it. I uh, can't stop. I got to keep growing in that, growing in faithfulness to God, faithfulness to others. Let's continue to grow in love and joy and peace and patience and kindness and goodness and now in faithfulness. I mean, these are all things we need to be working on. These are all things that need to ex express and describe the kind of people we are in Christ and to continue to grow and to have the fruit of the Spirit in our life. And there's a couple more we're going to talk about in the next couple of weeks, and we'll get to gentleness or meekness, and then we'll finally get to self-control. And so look forward to talking about those. Uh, but right now, let's uh, really meditate, spend time on faithfulness and the rest of these, and continue to grow stronger each day. Walk in the Spirit, not in the flesh. Live for God. Put Him first. God bless and take care one day at a time. Take care.